All right, so this next critique uh, coming up is on Tom Tienton. I've never watched him before. No idea what he's like. I do believe he's a Duck Hunt secondary. I want to say he's a Yoshi main first, because at least he's a black Yoshi in his profile picture. No idea at all, so come yell at me later on <laughs> and correct me on whatever the hell it is with you. Um, but let's see, so never seen this Duck Hunt play before. No, I think he was playing... It's a Yoshi or Duck Hunt. No idea what I'm in for. Um, he did say he got his ass handed to in this set. So. We'll see. Damn, he's playing Hyper Kirby? Oh, sucks. Okay, so Duck Hunt Roy. This is not a bad matchup by... Any means necessary. Central Florida, CFL. Orlando area. So I'm literally going cross country for that. Okay, so before I get into this, so this matchup is not really that good for Roy. So just imagine it the same way as kind of, of how you would fight Falcon, except um, it's a worse Falcon. <laughs> That's really the only mentality you need for it. Like Roy has pretty good he has pretty damn good combos if he gets the hit on you. But generally, you'll be able to outspace him. He has, like, one of the worst initial dashes in the game. Um, his range is good, but not, like, amazing. So, like, we outrange him most of the time. Of course, he does have a sword, so that'll, that the disjoint does help him um, beat out our attacks. Uh, but honestly, you know, shield can works pretty well against him. It's going to stay ground a lot of time. We're going to, like, short hop fair. Uh, a lot of nair. So if you kind of shield those, and if you can tell what he's facing with that, then um, you'll have a pretty easy time um, taking care of him. You can clay pigeon through Dancing Blade if he's uh, huge into that. So it's not too hard to go through. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, so the main the main goal is you're going to just try to outspace him, keep him out with fares. Um, then basically when you get that grabs or uh, you get that grab in, you're going to toss him. Lay out your cans, lay out your gunmans, uh, trap his landings quite a bit, control where he can go exactly and how he can follow you up. And that's generally, that's generally the game plan. He's really easy to edgeguard too. So put the gunman out um, and then you drop the can so he automatically blow up on gunman every single time. Or you can force the air dodge with can and then just run up and fair him. He should be dead. If he, ke if he has a jump, he has a pretty good chance of living. But if he's below the stage, it's kind of hard for him. So that that's kind of your main goal. Horizontally, his recovery is decent. Vertically, not so much. So that's the main thing that you want to um, take out from him. Uh, let's see how he hands this. Okay, no can immediately, which is kind of a mistake. Oh, God, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Okay, gets the jab. Okay, decent. Whoa! This man said Duck Hunt's grab is not so great. Bring that up. Ah, hold up. That's not as good. Duck Hunt's grab's not so great. Okay, let me continue this. <laughs> oh, God. People sometimes. Okay, so... Oh, God, no jump! You had a jump! Oh, my God. Okay, so Hyper was bad there, so we let that happen. Ooh, he could have shield canned him, because, like, Hyper was definitely ready to go in right there. Oh, God, he got stuck with an up tilt. Probably wanted an up air. Yep, that's a confirm. Oh, 
So, basically what I'm noticing is the idea of what moves to use in neutral are... They, they feel like vague ideas that a child will come up with, but they have no idea what they're actually doing. Like, I don't sense the understanding of the space you're trying to do, you're trying to control, the moves you're trying to hit, or just what your game plan is in general. It's like every single, every single option was wrong and everything was just absolutely broken in there. <laughs> is the nicest way that I can put it. Like, oh god. <laughs> That was disastrous, like, um, you didn't know when to throw out the can, you had no idea when to throw out the gunman, no idea what moves to, like, even try and space with, they just, like, wanted to throw out and hit people. Let me, let me see how you handle Yoshi, though, because I, I'm pretty sure Yoshi is your main, so I want to see, I want to see how you play this. Okay, so, like, at least right there, I can immediately tell you know what you're doing with Yoshi, because you're trying to just do those dashbacks to space around. Oh shit, I just realized Ty might be going to Momocon. I need to ask him. I did not know he's a Georgia player. Oh, why did you air dodge? You're Yoshi! Oh no. No, 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 no. You're Yoshi. Oh my god, you. Oh, that was so bad. Oh. Like, you have armor. Abuse the hell out of that. Like, they, they literally can't edge guard you. That's. That's the beauty of your character. That's the one good thing you have this, this for you, besides your buttons. Actually, no, Yoshi buttons really aren't there. Oh, no, that was an IR. You gotta confirm it if we're not there. Yeah, like, definitely your your understanding of Yoshi is a lot better than you have with Duck Hunt. Like, Duck Hunt, you just need to play around a lot more. You understand how to utilize his moves in neutral, how to space with it. You want to use, like, a lot of those fares. And you want to know when to throw out those projectiles and where to place them exactly. Because that, that was the biggest thing you're lacking. Yoshi, you kind of have a solid idea of where to place your moves. I mean, obviously, you still busted your ass pretty badly. <laughs> but, um... Uh... Hazmat's going to Momocon? Oh, shit. I love Hazmat. He's a, he's a pretty chill dude. I bet you that Duck Hunt's non-existent, though. He has a... He just kind of gave us a little DLC, and that's really the story of that. So, um, I and mean, honestly, yeah, um, as far as Duck Hunt goes, um, just kind of learn. Just you need to learn how to learn his moves before um, really do anything like that. Of course, you want to space with fair. You want to control ground. You want to control space with. Um... Actually, you know what? I remember you. T I remember him telling me about that the one time I commented with him. Um, but yeah, so you want to use can to control space. So behind him, in front of you. Want to use it to as shield can too to guard yourself as well. It's a really really effective technique against a character like Roy, since he does have to get into you. Um, much other things too. Let, let me let me take a look at your Yoshi so I can at least tell you how to fight Roy. At least what you're doing wrong and give you give you bet give me give you more solid advice on what you're doing. But honestly, like using doing that air dodge after that double jump was like that destroyed you. Like that you might as well have just like just gone off the stage and down bead. Ah, okay, let's see. So honestly, like, you could have just done pivot jabs there, and you would have been able to, like, at least space him pretty well. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that jump air dodge was. Like, I guess you're trying to read some type of regression from him. I mean, I know Yoshi literally has, like, no approach options, um, but you can kind of abuse that against Royce since... He doesn't really have a real approach option, too. Oh my god, that air dodge is so bad. Yeah, like, honestly, after that F-tilt, you should have just held shield, because, like, Roy's always going to come down with an aerial. So then that way, you could have shielded it, and then punished all of it. Like, none of his aerials are safe on shield. So, that's one thing I notice you don't do. You don't try to, like, shield his aerials and punish them. Like, you try to always counter aggression with aggression of your own, and that, that's not the way that this game works. Shield beats unsafe attacks. Um, attacks beat grab. So on and so forth. Grabs beat shield. Rem always remember the trifecta. You need to keep that in mind with, like, keeping up your game plan. The other thing, too, is, like, I don't see you really abusing Yoshi's drift too much, because, like, you can make it an absolute pain in the ass for Roy to catch you. I mean, also, you should have just gone to ledge there because uh, he, that was just... He could even call you out with, like, a run-up up smash, too, to just take your stock as well. 
So you need to learn how to recover better with Yoshi. Um, just shield, shield Roy. You can punish him so easily. It wasn't even like he was basic amazing against you. He just waited for you to throw out an attack every single time, and then he just kind of demolished you. So that's really that, as far as as far as I'm concerned.